In this video, I'm going to do two examples of finding the determinants of 2 by 2 matrices. And in this case, I've actually picked complex matrices just to make it a little more challenging so we get that practice with complex numbers as well. So if I want to find the determinant of A, which I've written up here, again, the method I'm using is the down diagonal minus the up diagonal. So that down diagonal was I times I. So I times I, and I can write it that way, and then minus 1 times 1. And I'm going to write it explicitly 1 times 1, and I'll put the dot there to know it's not 11. And then we need to simplify. So I times I is negative 1, and then I have minus 1 times 1, so it's minus 1. Negative 1 minus negative 1 equals negative 2. The determinant of this matrix is negative 2. Does this make sense? It's a scalar. That's good. It could have been a complex number, since it's a complex matrix. The fact that it's negative, the fact that it's um, a real number. In this class, we're not going to really worry right now about interpreting what that means. Usually when we're, interpreting, uh, when we're calculating determinants, that matrix looks a little bit different, or we're then going to do something after this. But that's the process. Now, let's repeat that with B. So first, we have that down diagonal. And that was 1 times, and I'll put it in parentheses just to make it clear, 1 times negative 1. Then minus that up diagonal. My first term here is e to the i phi. My second term was e to the negative i phi. Again, we need to simplify. And one thing to remember when you're doing determinants, I like the method of just saying minus, and then what are those numbers? You're not actually doing a complex conjugate or doing anything with those elements. You're just using the elements that's there. So 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Now what is this equal to? Whenever we have something that's of the term of like e to the x and e to the minus x, that actually simplifies to 1. One of the ways that you can remember that is that we're allowed to com combine um, exponents like this into a sum. So this becomes x minus x. Well, e to the 0 is just 1. So this is going to become 1. So this is negative 1 minus 1, again, negative 2. So these two different matrices actually had the same determinant. Again, we're not going to worry about interpreting that right now. Just make sure that you get used to this process.